Hey guys, so these are some lithium ion batteries I have here. They came from a Tesla Model S. The batteries themselves come as bare, and these are arguably the most advanced on the market today. And these are the batteries that we plan on using in the Electrolyte One flying wing. And there's several reasons, you know, we plan on using Tesla batteries. The first is that when you compare it to lithium ion, other types of lithium ion batteries, uh, you have a much higher amount of discharge and charge cycles you can go through. Uh, about 500 to 1000 full discharge charge cycles, and these batteries themselves are meant to last up to 12 to 20 years. They are designed for automotive applications. So they're really rigorous, meant, you know, meant to un cut meant to go under very rigorous circumstances. And secondly, you have um, double the energy density you have in lithium polymer. And lithium polymer batteries actually uh, can't charge and discharge for up to 500 cycles. Lithium ion batteries can actually retain their energy capacity for much longer than lithium polymer batteries. So, you know, when it comes to these types of batteries, you have the ability to cut your airplane weight in half for the same amount of energy. The batteries you see here are 4.2 volts each, and they have 3,400 milliamp hours of capacity, which if you have three of these batteries and you put them in series, you have a three-cell 3,400 milliamp battery that only weighs 140 grams. And, you know, the last time I saw a battery lithium ion battery that weighed 140 grams you know that only had about maybe a thousand or 1200 milliamp hours of capacity so your energy density is expanding immensely and when you put these in parallel your capacity multiplies um, also when you know when you put in parallel it allows you to add up your amp hours um, or your amp discharge this is something that is a big issue when it comes to RC planes is that you know some of them require a lot of amp discharge, but when you put lithium ion batteries in in parallel, uh, you get more capacity, which means you can run it for a longer time, and your current output uh, multiplies, and it allows you to power something that uh, consumes more current. Um, now presently. Lithium ion batteries uh, cannot have such a high current output, but this is getting much better. And, you know, it's what we expect because lithium polymer batteries are really in the back burner in terms of the innovation that's going on in the battery industry. Lithium ion batteries these days are being used for tons of applications. And it's quite obvious why they are because they have nearly double the energy density. And they're very uniform. They can be modified easily. Uh, lithium polymer batteries, they're flat, bulky, but lithium ion batteries are seeing incredible advances in battery technology. So when it comes to what we want to accomplish with the Electrolyte Flying Wing Series is to use these batteries as a catalyst uh, to promote this technology. Um, you know, it's so, even with most RC planes today uh, are capable of being switched over to lithium ion batteries. When that happens, you can effectively double its range. There's a video on YouTube somewhere about a guy who powers a Bixler uh, RC plane with lithium ion batteries. And he uses a fairly small number of lithium ion batteries, but he gets an hour of uh, flight time out of these batteries. Now, to compare that in contrast, usually a Bixler plane will get maybe anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, but now it gets an hour with these types of batteries. So the possibilities are there, and it's really endless. I think it's about time we start to make the switch to a better battery choice in the RC plane community because lithium polymer batteries, you know, they were great for the time being, but they're out of touch now. Lithium ion batteries are much better they have you know, more advances in technology occurring with lithium-ion batteries. 
you have double the energy density. Um, you can make all sorts of different configurations with these cells. And the current output is increasing. These batteries here have about um, 2C discharge. Well, that's not much in terms of what you can get, but we're seeing lithium ion batteries upwards of 10C discharge. If you look at the Tesla Model S, it's no coincidence that they're able to achieve um, ludicrous mode and you know, other types of fast cars that are using these batteries. Originally, it was thought that you need high power for RC planes, and the same is for, RC, uh, for cars as well back in 2003. But what really matters is the energy density. When you can expand on those capabilities, it's really going to allow the capabilities of what RC planes can to do to expand immensely. Imagine if every RC plane out there today could fly double what it flies with lithium polymer. You would have incredible capabilities, and especially as many more types of UAVs are going commercial, uh, we're going to see a greater need for these batteries. That So that is really what Ares is really trying to accomplish now with the Electrolyte series. We're working on designing these. Um, I'm hoping we'll have uh, the Electrolyte 1 series for sale by the end of this year. Uh, anyhow, feel free to check it uh, out on our website. The link is down in the description. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll be posting more videos about lithium-ion batteries um, soon. Thanks for watching.